What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to do another form lift video. People like, like these, you know, they don't get as many views as every, other as, every, as every other video, but like the people who watch them, I think they learn a lot. The people who are in them, I think they like it a lot. And I do get, I probably get more messages about these types of videos than the other type of video, even though the other ones may get caught in the algorithm too much. But we're here to give back to you guys because that's what we do here. So we're going to go through some videos here. We're going to talk about form. We're going to talk about how you can improve. We're going to talk about what I would change. Uh, and if you're good, I'm going to give you that praise that you deserve. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So first up here, um, we have a squat. So uh, I generally don't rec <laughs> recommend squats for most people. I'll put this on low volume. Um, but this guy here, he is barefooted, which is a very, very important thing to note. If you are wearing... I wear Yeezys, if you're wearing like uh, soft shoes, if you're wearing anything like that, you're gonna create instability. If you've got slight pronation or supination, do you know what that is? This is supination, I don't know. <laughs> if your ankles are internally rotating or externally rotating, we'll say that instead. Uh, you're gonna feel that on a, on, a, on a soft platform, you know, but if you've got a hard floor against foot, you're not gonna rotate as much. So first of all, he's done that good. Um, He's bracing himself well. He's got good control throughout. Um, I don't think he needs to change anything, personally. Uh, we started off with a good one. Um, he braces himself well. He drives his elbows down. He's got his core tight with his belt. He doesn't go too fast down. I'll just be careful when you're getting tired. But otherwise, this is a good squat. Um, I like to recommend people do other things than squats, but... Squat is absolutely no problem at all, my man. On to KOF Fit. This is like an RDL or a stiff leg, I think. So you can see here is lowering the weight one, two, three. That is that is the tempo of peace. That is the tempo that you want to do. It's going to take any elasticity out of it. It's going to help you a lot. Um, you can see he's got really, really good control. His, his back in this pause position here is, is perfectly flat. There's no lower back rounding like a C shape. As soon as you start to get that C shape on the back, that's when you start to compromise that spinal position. Uh, and some people are okay with that, but personally, I don't like to compromise that position because it's notoriously a weak point for me. But his hips shift back nicely. The bar stays, the bar stays in the same bar path. And he is uh, thrusting those hips very, very hard into that bar. So again, a very, very, and this is what I like about these videos. You know what? The more and more we do them, the better the form gets is really, really good. Uh, we're gonna go on to Drew Stevens and there is a lot of plates on this hack squat, so let's hope he's doing it well. And there's two people spotting him, which is fine, that's safe. So again, control is there. He's perhaps dropping it a little bit too, too quick, um, but it's in a very, very good spot in terms of control, in terms of depth, in terms of intensity. And he's gonna go for another one. We're gonna leave this on because my man just deserves the respect of this last one. <laughs> oh, that is a difficult one. Uh, very, very good. I think if you wanna try and improve your leg press the, much, the most that you can, you wanna try and drop those uh, feet as low as possible. All that's gonna do is gonna create more flexion at the knee. So you're gonna get more quad, recruit, more quad recruitment. The higher you can bring that, that uh, heel to towards your bum, the more extension you're gonna you're gonna get there. So, very very good. I'm happy. So we'll do this flat press here. He's using the Nautilus press here, which is Nautilus Nitro press here, which is even better. So I would personally sit this seat a couple notches higher. You can see you're kind of coming a little bit high. I think if you were just a couple notches higher, this would be really really good. Uh, this weight is way way too light for you, but the form you've got here is is perfect. You've got intent. I can see you thinking about it. I can see you going one, two, three, press. You know, one, two, three, press. It's okay to pause in in the extended range in this press, actually, because you've got tension throughout throughout the whole lift. So actually, this form here is um, it's absolutely perfect. But you need way more weight on here. I can see that you're very, very strong, uh, and this is this is way too easy for you. So get your damn some weight up, boy. Sixty kilo dumbbells, slight incline. That's what we want to see. Rocking the one as well. Respect. So, uh, uh, the lift might be good, but I would try, this is one trick that I try with dumbbells, is try put them right on the end, right on the tips of your knees. 
because it's just gonna allow a much more safer movement. It's almost natural. Whereas if you're here and you get here, you have to sometimes like crawl under and it's very dangerous for the shoulder prep, uh, for the shoulder girdle, especially when you're this strong. Like when you're doing 60s, like you got 60 kilos in a position where you're like this, where you could just fall that way and pop your infraspinatus out. You could fall in that way, hit yourself in the stomach and it's not gonna be as safe. So try to get them on the end of the knee there, um, which is perfect. I would say get your man to get his hands off, um, foot number one, because you never know how much he's going to be helping. Um, I would say that you're dropping way too quickly. So you're very much like uh, here and dropping in and can't, just trying to go. We're going to try to think about that three count. Best thing you'll ever do is that three count. One, two, three, press. And once you've mastered that three count, you can go a little bit quicker. But I think that you need to master that full control of the movement first. But you can see here is, is a little bit quick. You could probably go a lot lower as well. Um, so we pause here. So it's not too bad uh, because you, you're quite wide here. So you are going to be pulling the pec across quite a lot. But I definitely would recommend trying to drop a tiny bit lower. Um, sometimes uh, actually that incline is probably perfect. So uh, you can try, try to drop that a tiny little bit lower. I would drop the weight to 55s. I would count yourself three seconds down and I would tell your man to get his hands off your elbows until you need it at the end. But otherwise, like, dude, you're lifting 60s. It's fucking heavy regardless. Be very, very proud that you can even do that. And I, believe me, once you drop that weight to those 55s and build back up with the control, those 60s will, will look so much easier. Trust me. So we'll go on to an incline press here. This is a very, very high incline. I've got no issue with him doing this high incline, to be honest. That looks like it's just peeling right across that clavicle tissue. So I think this is a very, very high incline. I would like this machine to converge a little bit more. It does converge a lot, but I'd like it to converge a little bit more. But form, perfect. Control, perfect. I can see the intensity is building up as well to be perfect. Um, it's good, man. It's really, really good. I'm going to leave this on here to just show you that this is a very, very good, good, uh, good set. And you can see that this last rep here, although very, very hard, like the form is exactly the same as those ones that you saw before, which is a very, very important thing. I don't mean that the first rep needs to be as hard as the last rep. I just mean that the control and the power and the thought process should be the same. We go to uh, my man in Crayford. He's got six plates on there. Five, six plates on there, that's strong as fuck. Wearing a Brandon hard body belt. Uh, so this is a, obviously a one rep max. You can see that when you do get this strong uh, and, and you do push your body to one rep maxes, you do and you will compromise form to get that rep up, you know? I'm not saying that this is, this is a pretty, it's a pretty good form considering how heavy it is. But if I just pause this halfway through, like here, for example, you can see that his hips have shot up really high. Uh, because it just allows, obviously I think the glutes might be a little bit weak here, but you shoot up here in terms of your hips and it's gonna very much uh, make the lift. It's basically just gonna put your body in a position where you can get that way up a little bit easier. But you can see his lower back is, is a little bit um, curved over. But this is a one rep max. You can't expect anything else from a one rep max other than form breakdown, you know? And, and especially when you're a power lifter, like, the goal isn't to make it look pretty, although it would be nice. The goal is to get it up. You know, but as bodybuilders, which is what we are, which is what I am, which is what I'd be reviewing, as a bodybuilder, I, I wouldn't do this lift. I would say pick six to ten reps and go from there. But I appreciate I don't I can see I can see Mike lifts in the background. I wonder whether this guy's a powerlifter and does powerlifting a little bit. But personally, um, I wouldn't be doing this. But dude, you got fucking six plates on there. That's strong as fuck. I couldn't even do that. No way. Uh, ben Stacy, this guy looks like an absolute fucking beast. And he is on the Nautilus pull down here. So you can see, and you don't need to do the Nautilus pull down to do this. You can just use a normal D handle, but you can see it's slightly supinated. So we can drive that elbow down into the pocket. Control is good. Um, the extension at the lat is good, you know, because you don't need to fully extend and extra and like pull that shoulder out of its socket you can very much just uh, stay within that range where the constant tension's on the lat. So dude, this is perfect. Um, yeah, this is good. So CJ here, he's got the 50s with the Wanamara wraps. So this is good, man. This is really, really good. I can see that 
you're dropping a little bit quick again. I would like to see a little bit more control. And you can see there's a slight leaky energy, but I can just see that's gonna come with practice. Look at that, he's saying, don't touch him, don't touch him. Leave me, leave me, leave me. See, that's, that's how a spot should be. You know, communicate with your spot. Even before the lift, communicate with your spot. Uh, but dude, this is very, very good. It looked a little bit awkward getting into it. Try the, try the knee thing that we talked about earlier on in the video. Um, but, you know, a little bit more control. And I think this will be a very, very good lift. The intensity is good. Your mindset's right as well with, with, the, with the, um, the spotter there. So very good, dude. Uh, I think you should be happy with that lift, but just try and uh, try and keep that a little bit spot on there in terms of controlling the way down. Onto a squat. Um, perfect. You can see there's no leaky energy. You can see that he's got a very, very good range of motion in his ankles and his knees. You can see that he's got good control. You can see he's got good breathing. You can see he's bracing himself. This is uh, the perfect lift, my dude. There's a lot of good lifts on here this week, isn't there? I wonder if that's a coincidence or people have been watching my form videos. <laughs> uh, this is a very good lap movement. You could put this bench a little bit higher so you can like wrap around it a little bit more. Um, but this is perfect. This is a really good lat exercise. And you guys, if you followed my, um, my best back exercise, uh, my three best back exercises, maybe two videos ago or three videos ago, um, we had this on there because it's a really, really good exercise. So this is perfect. The control's good. Everything's good. Just want to try and get some more weight on there, my man. So another one of these light exercises, I would do the exact same here and I would put this bench up one. Putting the bench up one is going to pull you a little bit further away from the cable. It's going to allow that shoulder to come in front of you a little bit more. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, rear delt and, and upper back on this, which is fine because it is going to hit that quite well. But if you just notch it up one more with the bench, you'll be able to just drive in a little bit lower, which, which would really help. Control, form is good. He's got the D handles on there, which allow a unique rotation. We know that you know using D handles, you can be wider, you can be narrower, you can want to pronate this way or supinate this way. You want to pull in like this or like that, and you can do all of that. And that's what's really good about D handles is that you can make the movement fit you very well, which is obviously a very good thing to do. Uh, we'll come on to our last one here and then we'll then we'll wrap this up um because i think we've done you know a few different exercises and you guys get, you kind of guys get the kind of gist of what i'm trying to get at with the control the, the tempo you know and the, the intent of the exercise so we're finishing the shoulder press first of all um you can see these two things fall down here these two little um barbell clips that's very very good the guy's been watching the videos the barbell clips they'll go in the buffers where the weights sit on top and it's just going to put you into a slightly more safer position. So, very, you can see this is heavy weight for him. Um, see, this is quick on the way down, but it looks like it's much more in control. And this is what I mean when you've mastered that control, you can move quicker, but as long as that intent, that, that, that contraction, that stimulus is still there. So this guy looks like actually the control is, is there, but it moves a little bit quick. So... For me, you know what, just to be very, very picky, slow it down a very tiny bit, but honestly, um, it's, it's like, that's something that you need to be having that conversation with yourself in that internal dialogue. And sometimes you need to push it a little bit. Sometimes you need to move a bit quicker to try and get a bit more weight up, but then you wanna have those periods of time when you sit back and you reset that form, so. Guys, I'm happy um, with all of your lifts. I think that there's much, much improvement than the last time we did this. So um, if you guys keep, are enjoying these videos, please smash the like button. Please drop a like uh, and please drop a comment just to let us know that you enjoy these things and we'll keep making them. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. We'll see you very soon. Peace and love, everybody. Bye-bye.